Welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to teach you how to downgrade from Android 10 to Android 9 on your Rockchip Android head unit. This works for PX6, PX5, and PX30. Now we're going to use a application called Mod Installer Pro, which you can find in the link in the description. And I'm also going to install How 9K Mod Version 4.0. Now you can install the official firmware for your device if you want to downgrade to, say, Android 9 from Android 10, or from Android 9 to Android 8. That being said, it will also work on upgrading to the next Android version unofficially. So keep that in mind too. So as you can tell, I have an Extron TQ709 IPL PX6 variant on Android 10. It came from the factory this way. It was supposed to come with 9.0. But here, I'm going to show you how to downgrade it to 9. So you can have HAL 9K mod. Now, first thing you want to do is plug up a USB to your laptop or computer. I mean, I'm having a little trouble here, but bear with me. Now, last time I used this flash drive, I had created a live boot for a Linux distribution, so I have to reformat it. If you have a device and it's already formatted to FAT32, then don't worry about this step and go on. This is how you reformat a drive that has multiple partitions into one partition drive. So first you go to Device Manager, like I just did, find your device, make sure it's the correct one. Delete the volumes on there. And then create a new simple volume. Also, make sure you don't have a drive that's too big because you need to use FAT32. I don't think NTFS or XFAT works on this method, and a lot of devices don't support such a big file storage devices, at least at this price range. Now, after this is formatted correctly, I usually go in and format it again through the settings because it doesn't always take so well after doing this. So just to be certain. Also while we're doing this, you can go into your Wi-Fi settings on your device, find, click on them. Go and find your IP address because that will be important for the installation of Mod Installer Pro. You can also just plug it in via flash drive and install it that way. However, I'm going to use ADB. And the way to use ADB on there is a specific shell command you have to input on the head unit before using terminal which I will probably put some information about in the description if you're interested. OK, 
okay the format is complete but I'm gonna install the application first and have that going while I prepare the flash drive so now type in ADB connect and then your IP address for your Android head unit Then once you have that connected, you will type ADB install, find your Mod Installer Pro APK, and drag it to the terminal, and then press enter. Now we're going to go to the HAL 9K Mod 4.0 folder and unzip it, click into it, now go into your head unit and find the Mod Installer Pro APK, click on it, now we're going to copy the update.zip into the USB or micro SD if you have a micro SD slot and would rather use that. Now while we wait for this to copy over, Let's go to our Android head unit and let's select the version of Android we're about to install. In this case, I'll be installing Android 9. Then we'll press install. And basically, what this is doing is it's installing a bootloader for this specific Android version. This is what allows this to actually work. wait for it to go through all this process be patient when it finishes installing the new bootloader it will restart into recovery mode then it'll start flashing more until it gives you this screen and the way you control this screen varies from head unit to head unit. Mine, you can actually touch the screen. One press, it'll move, hold down, and it will select. On my old head unit, it was, uh, you had to push the buttons. So, kind of play around and see. When the files finally complete copying, eject the flash drive or micro SD, unplug it from your computer, and then plug it into your head unit. Okay, now that you have it plugged in, we're gonna go down to apply update system, select it, go down to whichever one you chose. I chose USB, so select USB, and it should ins start installing. All you have to do now is wait. Now this will take a while, so I'm gonna skip through all this and come back when it finishes. When it's finished, it should tell you it was successful with the result of one. Then you'll reboot, select the reboot option, and it should boot up the splash screen of whichever firmware you had installed. In my case, it was the HAL 9K 
mod version 4.0 Android 9. This is the default setup for the How 9K mod 4.0. At this time, you just wait because it's still finishing the system update. And this is also where it installs Mask. This will install Mask version 20.1. And you're not able to update Mask via the system because of rock chip limitations. So be aware of that. Now you're done. That's all it is to it. You should thank How9K for this development. Because without him, it would not have been possible. His websites are in the link in the description. So go support him. Also, an added bonus of installing this on an Xtrons is that you get developer options back. Which is really nice if you have a unit that does not have them 